It's okay. What do you like for? <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, slow burning fires and warm mu mug of coffee. But why do you like ultra running? I like to be alone <laughs> in the woods <laughs> with myself and my steps. I like to see if I can conquer myself because there's nobody else pushing me down or anything so and my body can easily run under 40 miles maybe you know mm -hmm. but after that you gotta conquer some stuff but it's a little bit of that, the in it, in the deep, but also the overcome, the other side, like the feeling of even you did that. <laughs> it's like when you go on a super long hike, like in the mountains maybe, and you can see, like it's crazy when you can see where you started. And you can look at, at all of the terrain, like, wow, we just did that in that short time. And you feel like that sense of, like, overcome, you overcame something. Mm -hmm. It's like that. Kind of. I decided that I wanted to complete one in a short window, because I'm a woman and I am bearing children. <laughs> so I was wanting to accomplish one in between our first and second kiddo but my window was getting shorter <laughs> so this was one that was decent proximity to where we live and could be done on minimal training somewhere <laughs> and it was so yes it can be I mean yeah I know I mean I, I was consistent nice. but did I have the volume of other people? Maybe not. So that's part of the headspace game. Like when you don't want to go out for a training run, or you're tired, or you're sick, or whatever, you should still. <laughs> because you're not going to want to go at mile 65. <laughs> so, consistency is training the body and the mind. I think a huge one for your first one especially is if you have a team with you or pacers or a crew, you really like see and appreciate like how much people care for you. Like why would they devote their time to stay up for 24 plus hours to help you do this crazy thing that like for what? So it's kind of cool to see your people in the corner. So I think that's a big, because you don't really see that. You see it in life, but not like to that extreme. You see it at big moments of life, but not like doing something like that. Mm -hmm. So that was a big uh, eye opener and something I remember and will continue to remember. But I'm pretty internally motivated, so like the people around me, they can say like things either like emotional or like motivational, but it's like it's not gonna do a whole lot for me because it's like it's just me. So, so since this was a big one, like a milestone of motherhood for me, being it was in between. It was my goal in between kiddo number one and kiddo number two. I uh, was pretty like mom strong, I would say about it. <laughs> so that the whole training bit was like very like maternally motivated. Uh, and then my eyes set on growing our family post finish line. So 
It was a different type of run. And my piece of advice is let the race come to you and run the mile you're in. Because if you think of mile 100 and mile 2, that's going to hurt. So run the mile you're in. I tell you, I have two and a half miles left in your 100 mile running race. Any thoughts before the finish? <laughs> <laughs> but kept going, got out of some dark spots, and I'm gonna cross that line. <laughs> yeah, at a girl, nice. <laughs> Real good job, Pacers. I know it's a it's a long day for.